Hi guys, how are we doing? Neil here and today we're going to check out a really affordable pedal from the guys at Joyo. This is the R24 Regal Preamp. This thing sounds amazing and before we even start the video I just want to see that you can pick this up at Toman for £56 here in the UK. So a few weeks ago, the guys at Joyo sent me three pedals. You can see two of them behind me there. One is the Dark Flame, which I've already demoed. It sounded absolutely fantastic. Really impressed with that pedal. It just sounded so thick and so beasty, basically, for the price and the low price that it is. I just don't know how Joyo are doing it. Next to that one up there, you can see the Chopper Z. I've not tried that one yet. This pedal here is a Regal Preamp R24 by Joyo. It came along with the other pedals and it sounds fantastic. It really does sound amazing, especially for 56 quid. There's a lot going on in this pedal. I don't know how Joyo have crammed it all onto this little pedal and made it so affordable. There's not just your regular bass, middle and treble to sculpt your tone. There are three toggle switches as well that have different modes that can really tailor your sound to exactly how you want it. If I was going to describe the style of the tone that comes out of this pedal, I would basically say that this is aimed at the rectifier fans, the guys that like that big, fat, juicy rectifier tone. You can get that out of this pedal, but what's even better for guys that use like boosts in front of rectifiers and, and prefer that style of tone, you can tighten this pedal up with all the little switches on there and you can get that type of tone out of it. It really does sound absolutely great. When I first got this pedal out of the box, I was gonna rig it up to one of my tube amps behind me. I was gonna put it into the return and use the power section, one of these tube amps, but I thought no. Every time I do that, I always get a bunch of guys coming on and saying, what do you expect? The pedal's bound to sound great because it's going through thousands of pounds worth of power section. So in this video, I decided again to use my Blackstar Amp 2. There's no tubes involved in this video at all. It's going straight into the return. So the preamp section of the Amp 2 is completely redundant. It's going to the return of the Amp 2. The Amp 2 is then going into a cab, which I am listening to here in the room, the Engel 412. But you guys are hearing cab rig, which is inside the amp too. Basically, that's like having an IR uh, on board inside a pedal. That will be going straight into the camera. So there's no mics here, no expensive mics, no expensive cabs, and no expensive power sections that you guys are hearing. Okay. The reason I decided to do it this way as well was because some of you guys that buy this pedal are probably going to buy it for recording at home and I thought this was the best way to see what it sounded like in that situation. I'm going to just play loads of random power chords all over the place like I always do. I don't know what's going to really happen. I'm going to use two guitars in this video to keep you guys happy. I'm going to use this guitar here which is a Schecter Sunset Extreme 6. This guitar is super tight sounding by the way so whatever tone you hear coming from that it will be tight, clean clear and kind of snappy and glassy. That's just the tone of that guitar and those particular pickup. Then I'm going to switch guys to this guitar here, another Schecter. This is my Evil Twin Solo 2. This is loaded with active pickups and it's in drop C. This guitar has Fishman Fluence Modern pickups in it, so it's going to sound quite a lot different. Um, just so you guys know, the Schecter over there, the Extreme 6, is in drop D, not drop C. One thing that I want to point out to you guys is that when you first turn this pedal on, it lights up red like this across the top and also across the bottom. And what I think is really cool is that on the back there's a little switch, and when you switch that switch, it kind of controls how the lights work, if this makes sense. So you can have it so they're always on, you can have it so one's on and one's off, or you can have it so the lights only come on when the pedal's on. So I hope that kind of makes sense. At the beginning of the demo, I will just show you the clean tone without the pedal on, so you can just hear the power amp of the amp too. I'm going to be flicking through various switches on this pedal and just jamming along on chords and power chords and chugging and things like that like I always do. But I want to tell you first where they are and what they are so you can keep an eye on exactly what I'm doing and what I'm switching. Over here, we have the level, okay, that's just on over halfway. I have the bass here, the middle here, the treble, treble here, treble, and the gain over here. The foot switch is obviously here. Then you have where what I would say the magic is, these three toggle switches here. Now, the first one has three modes on it. Now, the first one has three modes on it, and this toggle switch, if we can call it that, is called the feel, and it really does change how the amp reacts. Some of the positions, there's three positions and some of them have a bit more gain, uh, but mainly I think it's a low end thing. The low end changes how it feels. You guys that are used to hearing using rectifiers will know exactly what I'm talking about when you get into this and you can feel the different types of sag going on. 
The middle switch here also has three positions and this is different modes. This also affects the gain, but also affects the tightness as well. It really does uh, tighten things up. The final switch over here, the third switch right on the right hand side, only has two modes and it's just a bright switch on or off. To be honest, it's not a massive difference, but you can hear the difference and it's like a feel thing. All the switches for me are a feel thing. Anyhow, without further ado, guys, I know there's been a lot of talking before the playing, but let's get on with it. Let's just see what this thing sounds like.
Right guys, so what did you think? I mean, to me, it just sounds absolutely amazing. In the room here, it sounds great. It really, really does. It really captures that crunchy, saggy rectifier tone. The gain when you wind it down does react uh, like a rectifier. Obviously, I've got it cranked up full blast here for most of the demo. But yeah, I don't know what to say really. It's just another great pedal from Joy and it's super, super affordable. You know, it really is affordable. 56 quid to have all that going on on a pedal. It is amazing and it just shows how great things are at the moment to be uh, a guitarist, you know. One, how great it is to do my job because the gear that's turning up, it all sounds good, you know. It's, re it's really a great time to play guitar right now when you can pick something up like this for 56 quid. Anyhow, as I always say guys, it does not matter what I think. It only matters what you think. Use your ears, not mine. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this pedal. Let me know if you own one of these pedals. And I really want to hear your thoughts on the tone. If you want me to use it through the power section of one of these massive amps behind, I can look at doing that in the future. Let me know that as well. If you want to buy this pedal, then there are some affiliate links down there below in the description. One is the Toman affiliate link. When you go through that link, you can buy this pedal and anything else, and it helps contribute towards the channel. There's also an Anderton's link down there as well. And there's also a Sonic Cake link down there as well. Sonic Cake make great affordable pedals as well, just like Joyo. And as with all those links, when you use them, it contributes towards me and what I do here and helps support me. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you for letting me entertain you and I'll see you all very soon.